Our time crystal device with the sustained scalar field is capable of giving you superpowers, enhancing normal abilities. Abilities such as the ability to see into the future, known as Premonitions are real, and the Time Crystal device is here to help you to increase your abilities, give you some insights and superpowers, intuitions. Precognition, the ability to sense the future, affect the future. Ability to understand your surroundings, what is around you. And even in the FBI and the CIA, they, now, they train people for premonitions. When they asked him, how did you know not to go this way? I had a feeling. Mm. And so even if you can't articulate it, even if you don't understand it, if you feel it, follow it. The presentiment studies offer supportive evidence that our perceptions transcend the familiar boundaries of time. What about a strange pattern of empty seats on doomed trains discovered by an accident investigator back in the 1950s? Almost invariably, on the day of the crash, the occupancy rate went down, the vacancy rate went up. Were passengers tipped off by a force from the future? All people have a basic instinct, a premonition, that they can sense fear. Now, most of us think of the world as a physical world that has rules, like on the chessboard. But off the chessboard, the rules don't work. Life is a lot more complicated than a chessboard. A lot of different things happening at many infinite levels. And there is the so-called retrocausality. We just cannot expect what's going to happen. Another superpower from the time crystal. That all events, even quantum events, have a definite starting point and a definite ending point. But there is uncertainty in what happens in between. The way to make sense of this is retrocausality. The idea that it is our future choice that causes that uncertainty. Retrocausality means the future affects the past. The beginning and ending of events are fixed in time. But Ken argues quantum physics creates flexibility in the middle. And that flexibility offers us the chance to control our fate. Harry Potter had a time crystal device. They actually saw something in the future, much like our pendant, the time, time crystal, crystal device. Time crystal was an amazing gate to the present, past, and future. To be able to see multiple, multiple dimensions. Just like if you're swimming in the ocean, and you make decisions whether to swim to the right, swim to the left. Every path has sorrow and joy. You and just have to dwell with the flow. And you have to understand that there's all different types of decisions to make over the course of an hour or over the course of a day. But could it be that one bad decision takes you someplace? And could you not send a message back to your person in the past? Every through human, a premonition? Every human being is capable of creative, good decisions. You just have to train your mind up to it. And this is part of that superpower to be able to hear messages from your own mind from the future. To get more, more and more clear thinking. Giving you advice into centered. the past. And another thing that happens is empathy. the superpower of empathy. Seeing with the eyes of another, listening with the ears of another, and feeling with the heart of another. This is another superpower that's enhanced with the time crystal. This is one of the basic ability for healing, to understand mind reading ability. And it's not what they show in the movies. It's a type of mind reading. It's a real life subtle and difficult task. It's quite difficult. You and you get... have to take cues from a person's body language as well. Energy, the tone of their voice. The way they, they communicate. Things. Body language. You can tell whether somebody's lying or somebody's pretending to be what they're not. You can start to get a level of other people's behavior. And it's increased with the time crystal. But empaths go further by connecting all the information and they can reach the conclusion about the person. So empaths can also sense things beyond the material world. So they can find missing people. They can hear messages from a world not so And our earthly. device can enhance this. Practice 
on making your own empathy skills more powerful and magnetic. The device will help you. Another power. Become an emotional ninja. Being able to have and control your emotions. Empathize with others. Protect your energy field. You can help them with their emotions. Focus on how others feel. You can expand your feelings. And you can also shield your own energy from others. Don't get trapped in an emotional bubble. Separate yourself from all the mess and indulge in some self-empathy. Be able to expand your mind. Create your safe place where you charge yourself. Start paying attention to how you feel. And then how others feel. See very impact on you deal with others. Then you start to have compassion. Into, and then you can for feel yourself less. And, and others. And then you can feel less negativity from others. Don't argue. You don't have to debate. You're going to have more of a feeling, an expanded feeling to know what's right. This allows you to filter all the unnecessary information and energy that might affect you. Being it, kind is to others is being kind to yourself. That's very necessary. It will help you to really get it more in touch. Put yeah. your hair down. Take a break. Charge yourself up. And start by meditation. Relax. Relaxation. Relaxation. And another superpower. Being able to transform negativity into positivity. Always look for solutions. Don't give up. You can find you can become aware of negative things and make them into more positive things. You can't escape negativity, so why run from it? Just create, create and transform the energy. And you find better ways to make things more positive. Not to be so cynical and convert negativity by practicing yoga and meditation. Do a five-minute tongue meditation. You can also use high-energy plants or flowers to increase will your vibrations. And the best way to do the easy method is to utter some few positive words, encouraging words, to change that negativity to positivity. Love is always a key to raise vibration. Laughter, dispel the gloominess. Share the laugh. Join people. Meet new friends. Share care. Another superpower. Increase sensitivity. Pay sensitivity attention. is a weapon. Become sensitive to smells and sights and sounds. Use it to your advantage. Instead of feeling being burdened by it, try to make it work for everybody's best and the highest good. Use it for the public benefit. Expand your mind and your emotions and your feelings. Train your mind more and more to more and more awareness by meditation. Then your sensitivities can create something meaningful in the world. Sharpen your senses and your empathy skills. Don't let them overwhelm you. Sometimes you feel exhausted. You get too much. Channel those feelings. Doesn't mean you have to be a, a, be apart from this f flow. You don't have to overdo it with positivity. Just have to make it survivable for yourself and for others. And empathy is a superpower. And realize you're not alone. And you it can comes expand with other your superpowers. Mind. And just experiment. Go beyond your own limits. These are the superpowers that you could get from these devices. The time crystal device to expand your mind protect to the past into the future. Protect yourself from aberrant negative vibrations.